Now, I think we have the time, and I think I'd just like to put away what I've prepared and say a few words further extemporaneously on this occasion to this student body. First, I want to tell you that I love you. I love you kids. You, <coughs> wonderful young people of this church, I love you. I believe you're the best generation this church has ever had. No generation which has gone before measures up to the stature to which you measure up. You're better educated. I think you have greater faith. I think you have shown that faith and are showing that faith than any other previous generation. I'm so thankful for you. I thank you for your strength, for your willingness to do the right thing, for your desire to serve the Lord, for your capacity to help build the kingdom. For the fact that you get on your knees and say your prayers, as I know you do. For the fact that you pray to the Lord to help you, to guide you in the things you do, as I know you do. God bless you for what you are and who you are. Now, don't ever do a cheap or a tawdry or a mean or evil thing, my dear young friends. You don't have to engage in these things. The world is on a slippery slide. It's going downhill and it's going fast. And you are as a beacon on a hill of young people of rectitude and virtue and decency and goodness. Remain that way. Do not destroy your effectiveness. Do not become involved in any kind of behavior which would destroy you, injure you, hurt you, debilitate you in any way, whatever. You don't have to do those things. You can stand above them. You must stand above them. The world will look to you as the years pass. Of that I have no doubt whatever. For if it continues to go in the direction in which it is going, the disparity between the world and this church will grow and lengthen and we will become more and more of a peculiar people. Now, be faithful, be true, go forward, be ambitious, don't short circuit yourselves, don't stop now, keep going, keep going, educate your minds, and your spirits and never lose sight of the fact that you're a child of God with a divine destiny and capable of doing great and good and wonderful things. Don't sell yourselves short. Don't cheapen yourselves. You know who you are. You know that you are a child of God and that your Heavenly Father expects something great and noble and good of each of you. The Lord bless you, my dear young friends. As I look into your faces, I see the future. Keep the faith. You'll marry, you'll have children, you'll have grandchildren, you'll go out and do the work of this world. But maintain your integrity. Be honest. Be good, be decent, be prayerful and the God of heaven will smile upon you and bless you and give happiness into your hearts and a sense of peace in your lives. Now, I wish for you nothing but the best. I am so choice and so wonderful and the future so great that you can't afford 
to betray yourselves in any way and to do anything less than that which each of you is capable of accomplishing. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be a straight-A student. You just have to do your very best. With all the capability that you have, you have to do your very best. And somehow, if you do that, God will open the way before you and the sun will shine and your lives will be fruitful and you'll accomplish great good in the world in which you take a part. I couldn't wish for you anything better as I look into your faces this day. Heaven smile upon you. May you be blessed. May you be happy. May you have joy in your lives. May your tears be few and your smiles many as you go forward with your lives is my humble prayers. I stand before you and express unto you my love for you and my confidence in you and my hope for you and my prayer for you. You are of the very fiber of this church and this church will grow as its young people, the young people of this generation, magnify their callings and go forward and serve the Lord and live in loyalty toward Him. God bless you. There's no, no end in sight for the good you could do. You know it? You're just simple kids. You're not geniuses, I know that. But the work of the world isn't done by geniuses. It's done by ordinary people who've learned to work in an extraordinary way. People of your kind who can do these things. I repeat, don't say, I can do the right thing today, God being my helper, and I will do it. Heaven bless you, is my humble prayer. <coughs> my humble prayer for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.